Hello, this is me Ali Raza. I'm a Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and Bing Ads certified advertising professional as well as an owner of a Google party company. And in case if your Google Ads are being disapproved and need a professional help, even with Google Ads audit setup or management, you can hire me and my team through the link in the description. So today I am here with a detailed tutorial for anyone you know wanted to know about how to fix Google Ads disapproved for malicious software or unwanted software. So let's get started on this step by step tutorial ever you know ever in your life have you seen this error on your google ads like your google ads are being disapproved from malicious or unwanted software you may be surprised to know on what is actually malicious or what is actually actually unwanted software and why your ads are being disapproved so let's get started if you see this error of malicious or software unwanted error okay let me first of all explain this okay malicious is uh, you know kind of uh, activity like uh, auto installs happening you know someone when someone uh, opens your website uh, and automatically some files comes to your web uh, uh, consumers or visitors uh, uh, computer or laptop you know making it malicious it can be a malware it can be an adware it can be a trojan it can be a keylogger or any other issue or unwanted software is you know when you didn't ask or some deceptive software has been installed on your computer without being asking so you know having these issues is also risky for you so if your google ads are being actually being disapproved you need to be thankful to google that they actually helped you you know otherwise what would happen is your website image has gone down imagine someone visits your website and then unfortunately you know their account gets hacked their website gets hacked or their computer gets hacked and they are like surprised what i did and then they finally realize that after visiting your website you know all of this have happened just imagine the reputation of your website you know how it will go down so now you need to be thankful that google has detected something is wrong in your website and you need to figure it out okay so i'm going to tell you you know i just have you know gathered a list you know which can be helpful for you in you know figuring out on what could be the viruses so first of all you know let's discuss on the viruses you know which could be a possibility over here you know at least there are multiple things you know which can cause your account so it could be a an adware error it could be a spyware error adware is something you know uh, an ad is being shown when some uh, one visits your website with the pop up ads being shown you know which creates a security risk and you know they may demand credit card details or you know something like this spyware is a different thing you know when something you know a cookie or any script is being installed on your computer and try to spy your data similarly like keyloggers what keyloggers do is you know whatever you type on your computer is being tracked and you know being sent to the hacker so it's similar trojan is another virus type ransomware mobile malware rootkits bomb file less malware it could be another malicious redirects for those who don't know what are malicious re redirects are basically you know your web the, your website has a link you know which is automatically redirecting you know also it's a fine link but you know it's being automatically redirected to a virus based website and you, you do not even know you may know or you don't know it could be a problem from your developer as well so i'm you know just telling you and it could be at custom scripts on your landing page redirecting to malicious content null themes or plugins you are using null themes or plugins this could be an issue as well okay so these are the things you know which could be an issue uh, okay okay further thing is yeah even google search console errors can be an issue as well so yeah this could be an issue as well that there are google search console errors on your website so now let's figuring out on how to sort it but before i uh, i sort out you know if you look around on google uh, youtube you may be surprised to you know to see that i have ample of case studies on malicious error or unwanted error being solved even you can youtube me on you can find it out a lot of videos i have been done on case studies although not all being done but majority are being on youtube where i have discussed on how we sorted out these errors and you know each case varies each case has a different issue sometimes you know it's a it's a placeholder issue on your website you know sometimes that can be an issue sometimes it's a robots.txt file on your website so every thing requires a thorough review of your google ads account so first of all the first thing you know whenever what you have to do is you know whenever you see this error you know of uh, what to do okay i'm going to increase the font so you guys can see it out what to do when your 
वेबसाइट इज बींग लेबल्ड एज मलिशियस और अनवॉन्टेड सॉफ्टवेयर ओके The first thing you know we have to do is to thorough check on our website or minimum of the two websites, and that two are free of cost and can help you. One is Site Lock. I'm writing over here as well, so you guys can see it out. And another one is uh, this one, Scurry, Site Check Scurry. What I'm going to, for instance, for instance, I'm just giving an example over here. Let's say if I'm going to write my own domain over here, I'm going to show you, so you guys can see it out. And then you can also I'm going to write over here. so what they are going to do is they are going to check my website for malware and security so first thing we are going to do is check your website for malware and security okay i'm going to cut it out over here and i'm going to write it over here as well okay by these two links so they can see that depending upon the site every site is a different thing and you can see over here that uh, this check list is being done no malware is found no secure our scanner security didn't detect any malware so in case if this thing you know you may be relied over here but the site is up to date clean you know has no something you know some missing security headers are over there you know there are chances but you know it's fine website site is clean listed not black listed low security website it has a you know a green label over uh, at and if look around on these as well okay you can see that this site is also you know no malware detected no content delivery cdn could help you but you know no vulnerability is detected no malware all has a latest wordpress plugin so you know is it second thing is check your website for latest updates you know what happens is that i highly recommend people to have their especially if they use wordpress have their website and plugins and themes updated all the time okay that is very important whenever you're trying to do the uh, scanner issues you know sometimes you know in case if it's an outdated theme there are high chances that someone can hack it and you know can add something on your website so is the best idea is to have your website updated uh, all the time also have a strong security firewall or plugin on your website especially if you are using wordpress or any other cms you can use this to you know for your website safety you can use it on your website to keep sure that your website has do not have any issues the next thing we are going to do is we are going to look around on the google search console errors so what you have to do is to open your google search console and look around for any possible errors over here so let's say we are going over here and i can see that any error over here page experience error over here anything over here you know i need to figure out on my google search console any error anything you know being detect, uh, detected any security action any security issues you know being detected on the google search console if there is anything you will be added over there that what needs to be corrected so yeah uh, correction of google search console is another also important factor over in sorting out your issues uh, on your website now and uh, now another thing would be like check for your uh, recent changes on your website you know sometimes you may unknowingly have done any recent installation of a new plugin or uh, you know anything on your website which has caused this okay so you know this could actually be another reason for your uh, ads being disapproved to so check out for any recent changes on your website this could help you also you know check your uh, uh, stats and logs on your website control panel to see any bad things happening any bad or any suspected login okay another interesting thing is you know i also recommend you people is to have your website data backed up all the time for any bad incident so consider opting for any website hosting you know which provides this backing up otherwise you have to manually do it so that you are being secured on this end to ensure that your website is not get being disapproved so this is another you know after this check your robots.txt file why i'm recommending is that because sometimes it's a crawler issue not allowing your uh, uh, your search crawler to visit your website this could be an issue 
you know this could be an issue which can uh, you know make your ads being disapproved on uh, google on uh, google ads okay so after you are done with all of these things you know what you have to do is to have a thorough review of your website even for like placeholder issues or you know okay for this you may need to hire a a developer you know in case if you hire us for sorting out these issues we have a developer in our team you know who can who can for instance you know this is my own landing page what i'm gonna do is you know what i usually suggest people is you know go to tools and go to developer tools so you can see over here the source code of this and you may need to have any place folder issue like this over there or any other issue you know which is actually causing disapproval so you have to manually review or you know manually review your website for any possible errors after this go on your go to control panel or ftp to see if there are any unknown files on your hosting account okay what happens is that everything is fine but there are some certain files on your hosting account sometimes you know what I, what has actually happened was you know sometimes there was a, a virus on my account and you know what happened what was happening was someone was using my hosting server to send mails uh, spam mails to third party and you know i was not aware and you know the attention was you know when i got to know that my ads were being disapproved you know something was fishy and i know i came to know that this is due to someone using my server to send you know mails and you know there were chances of my hosting ip and hosting account being suspended as well so you know luckily it actually helped me in sorting out that issue as well so that is another important aspect you need to look on after you know doing this what you have to do is to go to your this ads disable page like because we are sorting out many issues so you can see over here as well and we have some test accounts as well and you know we keep on sorting so what you have to do is you know first of all in case if you are doing it you know you may see your ad over here what you have to do is to simply select this one and let's say we are going to select this one you know and you know what we have to do is to have to do the appeal over there okay as a simple person you have to appeal it over there but you know it changes the dispute decision over here but in case you may if you know if you're gonna hire us you know uh, to work with uh, sorting out uh, uh, you know with the google uh, to sort out you know we can help you as a google partner we have a dedicated support who can help us in sorting out all of these issues i'm trying to be very honest with you we can help in we can help you in sorting out all of these issues and get your ads being, disapproved, uh, being approved uh, through a manual support review and a manual discussion with the google ads manager and sometimes you know it's something you know there are malicious files in the server like i told you over uh, in this point or sometimes there is any other unknown reason or sometimes you know which a uh, reason is being mistakenly ignored by us you know the google team actually tell them and then we you know uh, inform the customer in sorting out and that is how we can get your website added being approved as a google partner again we have a dedicated support and a team you know which is going to help you so you can order us through the link in the description in case if you have any ads disapproval issues specifically in malicious software compromised sites or convening system mystery presentation or any other issue my team is you know prepared in sorting out these issues we have worked in many cases and we have got a couple of reviews even i have created some as i told you before show you before that we have some couple of case studies over here as well and you can look around on my channel to see you know we have a couple of videos on this so yeah we can help you and also if you uh, take a time on looking out my upwork profile we have some reviews over there as well so yeah i look forward to working with you i hope you like this detailed tutorial uh, on uh, ads being disapproved for google ads uh, malicious or unwanted software and yeah uh, we look forward to working with you and we can help you when we google ads audit setup or management and lastly i request you guys to uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that whenever we create a new video guys get a notification regarding this thank you for watching take care and bye bye